Hello and welcome, or welcome back. My name is Richard Bott, and I'm the current moderator of the United Church of Canada. We have a number of calendars in our lives, don't we? There's the solar calendar that starts on January 1st and continues through to the end of December. There's the liturgical calendar that starts with Advent, moves us through Christmas, Epiphany, Lent, Easter, Pentecost, Ordinary Time, Creation Tide, and then back to Advent again. There's the lunar calendar, which, in the Christian tradition, orders some of our great festivals, like Holy Week and Easter and Pentecost. And then there's another calendar that's often important in the life of the church, the school calendar. In many places in Canada, church life gets quite a bit quieter through mid-June, July, August, and into September, the times when children and teens are out of classes. Church meetings tend to be called when needed. Formal book or Bible studies take a break as people head out to do family things. But come September, things start to gear up and congregational life begins to buzz. That's good. We need fallow times in our lives. Times for rest. Times for relaxation. Times to be with each other and with God, rather than always doing for each other and for God. I hope that your fallow time, your summer time, has been filled with joy and play and quiet and fun and great conversations. I'm wondering though, as we start into this new learning time, what are you hoping to see? What are you hoping to explore? What are you hoping to share? A disciple is someone who learns from the teacher, not just by listening, but by emulating the teacher's life. What of Jesus' life would you like to explore or experience? Perhaps there's something being offered by your congregation that interests you. Perhaps there's something offered by another congregation or community of faith. Perhaps there's a podcast you'd be interested in discussing with other people. Perhaps there's a type of prayer you'd like to experience, or a book of the Bible you've been wondering about, or part of God's creation that's hurting that you know you want to do something about. Consider taking a few moments and writing down some ideas about what it is you would like to learn or do. Consider taking a few moments to chat with God about what's exciting you or worrying you or just making you wonder. Consider two or three or four people you know who might be interested in exploring with you. And then consider talking with your community of faith's council or your clergy. And then, act, do, live, learn, be, not just with each other, but with God, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit. And I'll tell you, I'm excited to see where this year of learning takes you. Christ's peace be with you.